Okay guys, I'm in my Ford F-150 2016 XL with the FX4 package. I have the ELM327 interface Bluetooth OBD2 adapter that I've been using for years. Works with Fork and Car Carista. And uh, I just bought, paid for a Forescan light. So we're gonna plug this in and see. Connect, hit Forescan light. Gotta turn the car on. Oh, right away, vehicle, log, error, table, dashboard, graph, and settings. That's it for that page. I probably have to go to settings, honestly. I didn't think about that. Settings. Enable, disable Bluetooth. Bluetooth adapter. Here we go. Ah. Have to find it here. Here it is. OBD2. There we go. Back up here. Now hit that. Hopefully just user error there. I mean, no direction, so... Ah, look at that turned orange. think it found it. And I heard this is pretty slow, so we'll see. And I do notice the light over there is going crazy. So it is reading and sending data. Well, I will come back when this is... Oh, wait, here we go. This view may contain a... I must scan a digital and there have HSMS can switch. Uh, I no, don't know. I, I really don't know. Don't know. I just hit don't know because I don't know. I don't even know what that is. Well, this tells me my adapter. Model it's a Ford F-150 EcoBoost gasoline. It's a direct injection. It's 2.7 liter. It's a 2016 generation 26 EMY fuel gasoline automatic. My VIN PCM powertrain module gives me all that information. Onboard diagnostics, accessory protection module. Okay, guys, I played with it a little bit here, so. You can go to dashboard. I set up some PIDs. So once you set these up, you can hit play up here. I fat fingered that. You can hit play right there. And then it gives me the live. That's my fuel. That's my RPM. That's my uh, fuel rail pressure. That's the engine temperature, as you can see. So setting those up is pretty easy. So you have to stop it and select that icon and you select different ones you have to go through all all these you hit the plus up here and then you know you scroll through look what you want that's under the obd2 you can also select a different module you know that's the body module and then you hit the plus and these are all the things you know, you can be told vehicle battery days in service apparently, barometric pressure, vehicle battery current, you can be told the current, uh, vehicle battery estimated temperature if you really want to know what that is, brake fluid level. So there's a bunch of things in here. You can set it up to whatever you need to look for. So if you're towing stuff, then you hit live. So brake fluid is okay. Battery temp. Of course, it's in Celsius. I told it to do it in Fahrenheit, but it seems to keep wanting to default, which isn't too hard to change. We'll take a look at this one. Okay. And hit play. There we go, battery temp is estimated at 77. And there you go, the amperage. And brake fluid's okay. So I can hit stop, I can go back, and I can go dashboard, I can hit that, I can change it back to the OBD2 module, and I can exit back, and I can hit play, and now it shows me those ones. 
that's pretty much how that works. Um, you know, it will log stuff. It's live streaming. The vehicle information I already showed you. If there's any errors, it will give you that. You know. Now what this doesn't seem to change is I can't like change any details within, which is what I wanted to know is was there a way I could go in and edit things? I guess that's why this is called 4Scan Lite. So you still have to get the desktop version, which is free, and hook it up. And, and then you can uh, go ahead and actually change settings within. You, know, you can view all this stuff as a graph. I mean, all, all this is pretty straightforward. You can view it as a table if you just want a table. You can hit play, and then there you go. That's the live data. Um, I'll go back to table, stop it. So there you have it. I mean, it's just pretty straightforward. It just gives you a bunch of information. It is very detailed. It does seem to be better than Torque as far as that. I believe um, you might want to look at this. It's only, what did I say, almost $5, four sixty-one or something. So, you know, it might be worthwhile for you, but... It doesn't quite do what I wanted it to do, which was editing things within, but I didn't quite understand online what 4Scan Lite was compared to 4Scan. So I'll provide those links down below for 4Scan. I think it's .org or something, but I'll provide that down below so you guys can go there and get that for your laptop. Then you can connect it to either a Bluetooth, if your laptop has Bluetooth, or through a cable and actually make changes within the system which is what I really want to do so hopefully this video helped you out to understand the difference between force scan light for the phone versus the laptop version have a good one guys